were making Thursday things were making Thursday things were making Thursday yeah Hey there, Soul Shines, Michelle here, and this is my take two of Things We're Making Thursday. Take two because I happened to think to check right before I closed out my thing and the microphone didn't work. I was so frazzled through that one anyway, it's okay. So we're just going to take a moment and everybody breathe. <sighs> All right, slippers. That's the theme for this month. Um, this is my second things we're making Thursday video. Hey, I'll put the playlist up here and you can go see what I've done. Um, if you want to go see what other people have done, do the hashtag TMWT, things we're making Thursday, um, which of course it will be in the description box. Probably we'll put it in the title. Yeah. Uh, information below there's the list of the themes for the year there's um, a link to the Facebook group uh, always my emails down below you are welcome to join anytime if you don't have a channel there are a lot of us that are willing to put your pictures of your slippers or whatever you're making in our videos and share them with people so if that's something you are interested in I am happy to do that and I know that many others will as well um, if you have a, a channel and you just want to join in, join in anytime. They, you know, you can join in for one month and wait three months and join in again. It's okay. They're happy to have us join whenever and however we want. Um, sorry. And apparently you don't actually have to put your things we're making Thursday video out on Thursday. Makes sense to put it out on Thursday, but you can put it out any day you want it. And... You don't have to just make your slippers on Thursday. You can make them any day. And I realized late last night, I'm like, you know, I actually could make my thing, record my things we're making Thursday video on Wednesday and have it scheduled to come out on Thursday, which would probably relieve a lot of stress on me. I'm gonna put the picture up here of the eyeball slipper pattern. And of course, I will link that pattern down in the description box below. I started making it. I made one slipper. I don't like it. Personal preference. I think that this is way too long for the back of a child's heel. And I also realized that without information from my son, I don't know what size their feet are. And the last time I tried to ask for information because I had given them socks on their birthday. That was what I'd done for all the people was I gave them a pair of socks on their birthday and their birthdays are May and July. And they just came back with you, you know, like it's like you, you gave them, you give them socks on their birthday when it's summer and they can't use it. And I'm like, one time and that was the thing for everybody for that year I did that for everybody on their birthday or it was supposed to be on their birthday there was a few that were like I'm like one time and this time I'm not asking for their birthdays when I do Christmas but they he wouldn't give me any information because of that and I was like okay no footwear until kids feet stop growing and I can directly ask them hey what size is your foot and I know that my granddaughter will love it. Grandson, maybe. We'll see. I really do know that my granddaughter is going to continue to love getting made things for me. Just the way she reacts right now is very similar to the way I reacted and the way that my daughter reacted. And we both continue to love things like that. It was just, it's, it touches in a very close place. Anyway, so um, I'm scratching this project. I'm not making another one. I'm not doing anything with this. I don't know. I doubt I'll even reclaim it. I will probably just stick it in my scrap yarn bog and call it good. I stuff things in and I actually stuffed fingers in my son's eyeball. <laughs> I made him an eyeball pillow, which you can see here in a link to that reveal. 
Um, and for the stuffing, I just used scraps. Well, my other son didn't want the extra finger on his Halloween gloves that I made him. So I cut those off and put them in my scrap stuff and then stuffed them in the eye of the pillow. So now it's a funny little thing to say, you got eyes in your, or you got fingers in your eye. Um, anyway. So this is a slipper. I don't know how I feel about this pattern either. I know it's gonna be super easy, but did I measure my daughter's foot wrong? Cause that seems awfully big too. But I may sew these up. So what you do is you fold it in half hot dog style. Did you know that? When I was a kid, we didn't say hamburger and hot dog. Uh, but when my kids came home from school, they're like, you fold it, if you take your piece of paper and you fold it like this, that's hamburger. It looks like a hamburger bun. And if you take your piece of paper and you fold it like this, the skinny way, that's a hot dog bun. Seriously? Nobody ever said that when I was a kid. At least not that I know of. But that's what my kids all came home saying. And so you fold it in half, hot dog bun style. You sew up one end and that becomes the heel. The other end you sew, but you also like, um, draw it in, uh, gather. It's like, what's that word? You gather it, so then that becomes your toe all scrunched together. And then you also are gonna sew a little bit up this way. And so then that's your slipper. And if you wanted to put a border around here, you could, that's a choice. And I'm like, did I measure my daughter's foot wrong? I followed the directions, but it just seems like so big back here. I just feel like having two less rows would look more accurate to the back of a slipper. And so I'm going to, I was going to wait and sew both of them together at the same time, just so I could make sure I had the same amount of rows. I'm gonna count the rows and I'm gonna sew up one and have her try it on and see how it fits her, if she likes the way it feels. If she thinks the toe scrunchy thing is weird, then I will scratch it all together and I find a new pattern. If she's okay with it, the way it is, then I will make the other one exactly the same. If she thinks that it's too loose, I will um, make a different one. I'll probably actually reclaim the yarn from this for one of them and make them a little bit smaller. Then, here's the fun part. I'm still gonna use the eyeball pattern. I'm gonna use the directions for the eye. I mean, I could come up with my own, but you know, I've been saying, here's this pattern, I wanna use it. So I'm gonna make eyeballs and stick on her slippers. And then I'm gonna make a couple pairs for my other kids. Now here's part of why. This is what happened. They came home from their dads and they had helped him move. And I was like, so how's your dad's new place? And they're like, it's okay. It's got a lot of hardwood floors. And I'm like, oh, so you need slippers. <laughs> they're like, yes. I'm like, do you want eyeball slippers? And they're most, I think they all said yes, all the three that go up there. So they're gonna get eyeball slippers. I don't know how fast I could get them made. I would love to have three pairs done by next time they go up there, which is in a week. It's a week from tomorrow, actually. But if they, if this pattern is okay for them, if um, they like this, this is super fast, and I would for sure have it them all done if I mostly focused on these. So we'll see, we'll see, because I think that'd be really fun. And I don't want to give like have one of them go up with eyeball slippers, and I want them all to go up at the same time with the eyeball slippers, so that the eyeballs come out together and you know that wow value there anyway so that's it that's my things we're making Thursday and be sure to watch all the other videos that you want finished Fridays whip Wednesdays creative expressions I've started doing tutorials on Tuesdays um, might have other videos sprinkled throughout but um, I hope you enjoy your time here. Remember to like, share, subscribe, all the good things. I love comments. I love comments. It's so much fun to have little comment conversations in the description 
or comment section, not in the description. You guys can't comment in the description. That's silly. Anyway, it's really fun. I also really fun, um, like Shannon um, at another yarn. She's really fun about that too because she'll carry on a little conversation down there too. And some people don't. And I really think it's a lot of fun. So, um, anyway, yeah. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And if you're joining us on Things We're Making Thursday, let your light shine through your slippers. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.